Hi Cancer, this is Sandy Couture, <clears throat> and I am here doing the Astrological Tarot reading for the sign of Cancer for the month of May 2023. So this video is a little late. I've been sending them out when the astrological sign changes, but however, I was out of town when that happened, and I really didn't have an opportune time or place to do my recording. So this one will go from the 1st of May till the end of May. I may go back to that platform. Um, we're in the middle of Taurus season, and the big astro there's a couple of big astrological news items. One of them is Mercury retrograde until May 15th. It started last week and Mercury retrograde, retrograde is really about review. It's about slowing down and taking a look at what's been going on in the last three months and accounting to yourself for all of everything that you've participated in and then making a choice to move forward for the next three months. Uh, we also are in the middle of an eclipse season. We had an eclipse in the new moon on Aries at the first of May or the first of last week, the end of April, and we are going to have a full moon eclipse in Scorpio at the end of this month. So eclipses are about looking deep, looking deep within yourself and bringing things to the surface that you might not have had the courage to bring to the surface before, but it's important at this time. So there's a lot going on, but it's nothing that anybody can't do. The first card that I pulled for you, Cancer, is the hanged man. Now this hanged man is hanging upside down. He's in a figure four, and four is always a good, um, solid astrological or a numerological number. He's not in distress, but this card suggests that it's a good time for you to change your perspective. Look at things from a little bit different point of view. Cancer, you're a cardinal sign. That means that you generally will take information and use it to your highest and best. However, sometimes cancer responds like a fixed sign, which is that once you make up your mind, you're done. And this card is suggesting take a different perspective. Look at things from a different perspective. The surprise uh, card that you got is the Nine of Pentacles. And what this tells me is that you're in a really good, solid place to be able to look at life from a different perspective. I don't know exactly what the message is. Usually I will focus on somebody that I know who's a Cancer. And if I were going to say this, I would say be in gratitude for everything you have. This woman has built her life and she is in really good shape. But this beginning card is asking you to take a different perspective in life. Maybe you're in the middle of a challenge, uh, Cancer, right now, and it's time for you to just really focus on gratitude because positivity and gratitude are sustainable. Um, if you're always crabby or, um, and that's not a pun for Cancer because they're the crab, or not feeling happy with things, that's what you're gonna draw to your life. So the process card is the Six of Cups, and Cups is emotions or water. And the Six is about remembering how it felt to feel secure, safe, happy, loved, supported. So that goes along with looking at life differently and being in gratitude. Gratitude is so important for you this month. And the most likely outcome card is the Six of Wands. That's an action card. So you'll be able to take action closer to the end of the month and it's going to be successful. Um, this is like a success card, a highly su successful card. So I'm not sure what's going on for cancer. I would say you might be stuck a little bit and you've got to get your get out of the shell and look around you so that you can get a clearer picture of where to move forward this month. But once you do that, success is inevitable. Have a wonderful month. Thank you for watching.